Good morning. This is Brett Bass with Good Hope Equestrian Regenerative Farm. We are not on our farm today. I am headed to the fellow I told you guys about who was leaving the hobby of beekeeping in a previous video, heading to his place to pick up a new hive. Um, he's getting rid of all his hives and getting a deal on a, a whole Langstroth hive full of healthy bees that or a wild swarm he mixed with a weak, a weak hive, so I'm gonna be riding in this van with a bunch of bees here soon. All right, I'm in the van with a very full hive of bees. When I picked them up, you could hear them stirring around in there, so they're awake. Hopefully there's no catastrophic accidents on the way home and we can get these guys safely to the farm. Wish me luck. Alright guys, got these bees here successfully. Looks like they're cleaning out their hive. I just saw them drag out a dead bee down there. They just dragged it out and dropped it on the board here. So Looks like they're doing their spring cleaning. But we got them here safely, no accidents. They were definitely perturbed when I opened up this hive, but I got out of here. Gave them about an hour to calm down, and they seemed to be getting down to business. So this was my plan B. Forgive my pun, but in case I didn't catch a swarm, I wanted to have bees here. And my friend David, who was getting out of the hobby, was also selling his hives, and he didn't use any chemical treatments. And uh, that's why I felt okay getting these bees from him. This was a wild swarm combined with one of his weak hives. And he said after he combined them, they really started to thrive. So it's a strong colony of bees, plenty in there. And I'm excited to see how they do here at Good Hope. Alright guys, today we're going to be doing our first hive inspection on the new hive I just picked up. It's a perfect day for it. No clouds in the sky, nice and sunny, nice low wind. I'm putting my glove back on now from starting the camera. We're going to get our smoker started. Pump that. Yes. I'm going to keep this going. Alright, what we're essentially looking for is to see what kind of space we're working with in here. Sing 
so smooth and sweet to me and lured me near her cave by the sea but there i saw the bleach white bones of all the fools who should have known that the wage of sin was death from there i ran with all my breath As you can see, there's a very healthy amount of bees, and they've got space for more nectar and more honey. There's some capped honey in there, and some uncapped. See some mites, but not too many. They're putting nectar in here, y'all. It's a very healthy amount of bees in here, that's for sure. That's like all capped honey on that side. Seems to be a decent amount of hive beetles, too. Those little black beetles, those are the hive beetles. Now, in natural beekeeping, the bees just have to live with the hive beetles. We're not going to try to eradicate the hive beetles. This is just part of their life. I'm not going to dig down into the brood nest just because I think they probably have definitely a laying queen in there. See these bees bringing in a lot of pollen. Yep, there's definitely pollen all over their legs on some of these bees. So it's typically a good sign of a laying queen. Now, just look at the brood nest. I'd have to rip this whole thing apart. And I really don't want to agitate them to that degree. I was just checking for room. They are running out of room. And one of my plans is actually to let them run out of room because I want them to swarm. Um, I'm trying to get bees in my lands hive, which is really the style of beekeeping I was trying to do. Natural beekeeping in a lands hive. But I got a good deal on this hive and I knew it was half of a wild swarm combined with a weak colony and it's had zero treatments. So this is kind of the type of bees we're looking for is ones that have some natural immunities to the hive beetles and things of that nature. So we're gonna put this back on because it wasn't on before. So far, so good, guys. I don't think I'm brave enough to get down into the nest yet, but I do have a mentor from the local bee people, so I'll get that, and we'll get more in-depth with this thing in the future.
So there's our first inspection, just making sure the bees are doing what they're supposed to do. And it looks like it. We're getting capped honey up there. They're going to run out of room once things really start blooming around here. And that's when I can probably expect a swarm. All right, folks, this is Brett Bass with Good Hope Equestrian Regenerative Farm. We'll talk to you soon.